Okay, here we are, week 15. So this is the last week of classwork stuff. And then next week, you'll take your final exam. I need everything turned in to me by December 14th. So if you're missing assignments, turn them in. There's not gonna be a late point penalty. I have to post final grades on December 15th. And if you get everything in by the 14th, it gives me time to grade it. Um, okay, this week we're gonna read chapter 17. It's foreign policy, so that's how our country interacts with other nations around the world. One way that we interact with them is we send them money. Um, do you agree with that or not? You need to know to whom we are sending money and why. Um, and if you don't agree with it, you need to be contacting your Congress people. And foreign policy also very much affects us here at home. So things like Truman, President Truman, he was the president at the very end of World War II and after. Um, he had a policy of containment of communism. That policy drug us into the Korean War. It also, long after the, the Truman administration, during the Johnson administration, drug us into Vietnam. So these presidents, they have these foreign policy um you know, doctrines that can linger for decades. You need to know what they are. You need to know how they're affecting you and you need to be thinking about how they affect you in the future. If you take anything away from this class, I hope it is that you understand your government is yours and you need to be paying attention. You need to stay informed. You need reputable news sources on really both sides of issues. You know, it's that saying, there's um, her side, his side, and the truth is in the middle. A lot of times that's the case. And so you need um, both sides of issues represented in the news that you consume so that you can decide what you think the truth is and how, how you feel about it, how it's affecting you. Also, I hope you take away, contact your representatives. You elect them. They depend on re-election, especially the representatives in the House of Representatives, um, and the Senate every six years, but especially those representatives that are up every two years, be contacting them, be active, be active locally, be active at the state level, pay attention. Your country's yours and, and be responsible enough to pay attention. This class hopefully is giving you some idea, um, some ideas for how you can be involved. And I hope that you will do that. So you have a reflection assignment, this week, get anything that's outstanding turned in by December 14th. And remember, there's an extra credit opportunity. Um, the Articles of Confederation formed officially the United States of America, and we had a president before George Washington. If you email me his name, you'll get extra credit at the end of the term. All right, I'm wishing you all a great, great final push. The final exam will be next week and reach out to me if you have questions. All right, thank you, bye.